they just pretty much destroyed um, our households and things of that nature. Um, from there, we're going to go to the Martin Luther King speech. All right, Connor. This is a quote. Directly from Martin Luther King, because they want to tell you, um, I had a dream, I had a dream. But they don't tell you what he was speaking 10 years afterwards uh, before he actually got assassinated. Connor. All right, Martin Luther King Jr. was talking to Harry Balafonte. I said, what's the matter, Martin? He seemed very agitated. He said, well, I am, because I come upon a thought that I don't know how to deal with at this moment. All right? I said, well, what is it? He said, we fought for integration. It looks like we're going to get it. I think we get the loss, he says, but I'm afraid that I've come upon something that I don't know quite what to do with. I'm afraid that we're integrating into a burning house. Why is it he integrate into a burning house? Because Babylon the Great is going to fall. You know what I mean? You see all the things that's going on around and the most high is going to hit this place soon. Kind. And um, we're going to go to this article right here. Um, hopefully everybody got this. It's in this inside uh, the WhatsApp or the uh, the group text, and um, these are the things that have happened to us uh, decade by decade, and uh, we'll precept with that uh, the things that have happened with us since we have integrated. Okay, okay. God. Nineteen sixties, black man and black woman under the same roof with black pride, and that's that's how it was. We was pride. We was prideful to have family, you know. If you go back and look down the line, I'm pretty sure, like, you go uh, to your family, your grandmother and them, they had probably, like, seven kids and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, it was, a, it was a good, proper household. Everybody got together. You knew that your grandfather and your grandmother was together, or your great-grandmother and grandfather was together. Go ahead. 1970s, black man and black woman under the same roof. But black woman was given the idea she is independent and strong. So that's the feminist movement coming in, and she's given the idea that she don't need the black man. Go ahead. In the 1980s, government offered black women money, Ooh. welfare programs, along with ideas and not needing a man. Okay, hold on. Now we're going we to go uh, there with one of the curses. Mm. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and... Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 56. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set her soul of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom, and so, towards her son, and towards her daughter. So she has been set by the government to have her eye to be evil towards her husband because she can get benefits and welfare and all type of stuff like that, but she got to cook, kick the man out of the household. Go ahead. Come on. 1990s, black boys raised with no father. Crime escalated. With high school dropout rate and unemployment for black youth, which links back to the decision black women made when she chose government assistance and independent ideas over the black men in the household to continue raising their children. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 3. Because this is one of the curses that's not Deuteronomy 28, but it's throughout the Bible. And these are just some of the curses that have befallen us since our woman was convinced by integration of the civil rights movement uh, to leave her husband. So, uh, we could go before that. Um, yeah, you can start there. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, that which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. So by kicking the black man out of the house, we have set the woman at the head, and we had 
disruptive boys in the house and they have become the ruler of the household and they're pressing the neighborhood by selling drugs and gang banging and doing all types of things of that nature but not only that um we get incarcerated too mm -hmm. we go on to jail yeah. and um that's one of the curses that has come upon us with us integrating and wanting to be like our oppressors as well um we want to be drug dealers we want to be like al capone we want to be like the italians you know what i mean and those are some things that we'll pick it up uh from there good uh,